here we are again. Today's the uh, 6th of April. Uh, we're running a little high. Uh, I had to shut down, clean the racks a few minutes ago. Um, with the with the milks and the, with, the, with a little bit of rain yesterday, uh, things are flowing heavy. So we're getting a lot of debris catching in the racks. So I had to clean the racks this morning. Um, but uh, everything else is running right. We're still at, we're still high. We're still running at 17, uh, 21 for our pond level, uh, which is which is a little high. Uh, you know, that's that's a six inches over the over the where we want to be, six and a half maybe, seven, somewhere in there. Uh, but we're running at uh, 756 kilowatts, so we're running about as fast as we can run. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, this time of the year, we'll get more. And we're in the way of the weather forecast looks, it's going to be a cloudy day today, and then the sun's going to shine. It'll be a little cooler tomorrow, but be cooler through the weekend. But uh, still not below freezing. So that'll slow some of it down. But next week, we're seeing 60s and 70s. So once we hit that, um, it's a full board. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be gone. Uh, one of the, uh, one of my buddies is uh, out in, uh, well, he moved, moved from here. He was a fire chief, and he, and he moved to uh, the New Life Camp uh, uh, up in Rose City, Michigan. They're doing a fundraiser. They're, they're uh, trying to raise some money for uh, kayaks, and they're actually raffling off a kayak. So, uh, you know, if you're inclined, uh, help them out. There's a, uh, on the Zephy, Z-E-F-F-Y dot com, they have the link there to the New Life Camp, uh, or just look up New Life Camp. Um, hey, hey, set them 20 bucks, you know, help them out. Uh, I, I, uh, you, you can, you, you know, you can, you know, I, I support them. I support them. Uh, he's a great guy. He's, he's really trying to do what he thinks is right and what he feels he should be doing. And, uh, you know, you can't knock a guy for that. So, uh, any way that I can help him, 20 bucks. What's 20 bucks? You know, that's, nowadays you can't go out to, you can't go to the Dallas for 20 bucks. There you go. So, Kids will need it, uh, they, they, and uh, you know they they, uh, they they just need to help. Give them a hand. Anyways, so uh, today on the agenda, we're going to we got a water heater put in. Yesterday, we went up and tried to do the vacuuming out of the of the system uh, up in Seville. Uh, I couldn't get my regulators to help me out. Uh, they wouldn't, they weren't working correctly, and I'm not going to buy a new regulator set to do one. Uh, it's just regulator set. Uh, you can buy them dirt cheap, uh, you know, 40, 50 bucks on Amazon, but uh, you're going to use it once throw it away. I'm not going to do that. If I was going to buy them, I, the ones that I would buy are about $250, and I'm not going to buy them. Uh, it is, it's one of those things. What I have to, if I, if I'm still doing, doing the, uh, doing the, uh, the, the service type work during, when they start mandating that we go to, uh, all electric and heat pumps, then I may buy one. Uh, uh I haven't worked on, on refrigeration in the last 10 years. Uh, so to me, just not gonna pay to do it. Uh, I, I'm licensed to do it. I, I have a universal uh, license to do all refrigeration, uh, but there's no, there's no call for refrigeration here. So therefore, just not gonna do it. 
Somebody wants me to do it. They want to pay for the, the, the line sets. I guess I can. But I'm not going to order a line set just to vacuum out a set. To make, to make $100, I'm going to spend $200. So it's not going to happen. Uh, anyhow, we... Uh, so that was that was kind of a failure. We did go ahead and, and do the valves on the water system, uh, change those, got them. So it's all set, it's ready to be to be uh, you know the cabinets installed and, and whatnot. I did not know about a dishwasher, so I only hooked it up with one uh, shut off for the for the, uh, for the kitchen. Uh, I did leave enough that I could easily put a T in and run to it. So uh, that is set up so that we can do that. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, yesterday uh, uh, we, we went we took went with the uh, took, took the uh, uh, salesman up and went through the house, come up with some plans on that. Uh, you know. A lot of people don't understand how long it takes to plan out something like that. Uh, when when you're, you know, I've already got like two and a half hours just in, sitting down, figuring out what I need, how I wanted to do it, where I wanted to go with it. Um, a lot of math. Uh, it's not just, hey, I'm going to put a 60,000 feet to you first. I think I'm going to need this. Thing. Not, no, to do it correctly, you have to know what your, what your uh, uh, capabilities are. Uh, this one's a smaller house, so uh, we need to run the correct CFM, you know, 30 feet a minute of air, uh, because that's the way he, uh, these new furnaces heat with air exchanges. So, you know, for what we're dumping in, we need to pull back. Uh, and, and that's how it gets its efficiency. Instead of dumping 150 degree air in one, one location, hoping it warms up the whole house, uh, we're now moving air and bringing it up slowly, gradually, and uh, so a lot of people will, when they get a new system, they will, and, and they then say they would, they were oil and old oil, uh, and they switched over to a high efficiency gas furnace. Uh, a lot of people will go, it's not working correctly, uh, and you say, well, why do you think it's not working correctly? Well, I don't feel any heat coming out of the registers. I'm standing right on top of it. Used to be, I would stand on top of it, and it would be, you know, it would burn your feet standing on the register. Well, right, well, we heat differently now. So we bring back more air, we circulate the air. So, um, and I've had that conversation a couple times with some elderly people, and, and you go, well, what is the temperature in your house? Well, 72. Well, what do you have it set at? Well, 72. So it is heating your house. Well, yeah, but I don't feel it. Well, is it 72 in your house? Well, yes. You don't necessarily. Is it warm? Well, yes. It's working. <laughs> We're not blasting you out of the house with a, with a hot spot. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. So I make sure when I talk to them and I tell them, this will heat differently than the system that you have now. You will not get over the register. You won't. You won't take your wet, damp shoes and throw them on top of the register and expect them to be dry in an hour because it's not going to happen. It's going to take circulation. It's going to be just moving air. Don't block off a register because you're not going to use that room. We've got to move all the air everywhere. Uh, that's, and that's one of the reasons, you know, people blocking off registers and setting stuff on top of the registers. That's why they came out with the ECM motors. So then they modulate uh, when there's something that's blocking the, the flow. The, the motor actually knows to slow down and, and balance that pressure in, that, in the ductwork. So that's what the ECM motors do. That's why all of them are coming out with that. You can still buy... The, the old three-speed uh, motors, but uh, they're getting fewer and farther between. Plus, the ECM is a higher efficiency motor. It actually is a DC motor, so uh, you know it's 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 basically turning taking a uh, 
18 voltage, line voltage, turned it into DC voltage, setting it into the motor so it can regulate what's happening there. So, but a little bit of free information that you didn't really want today, but you got it anyways. Um, so I've got a water heater coming today. I've got to get that done. Um, I'm supposed to be going up to Seville. I don't know if I'll make it there today because I'm waiting for a check valve to come. And the only thing I've got to do with there is, is hook up the, the water heater, put the check valve in. Uh, maybe, I still don't have anything for the, uh, for the, the, the vessel sink. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a trip down to Home Depot, I guess, and, look, and start looking over that. Uh, the problem is the, the vessel sink is thin at the bottom. It's, it's, it's a very thin metal. And the, the, the screen, the strainer, drops down. Uh, and it drops down below that, the bottom of the pan. And I can't get on there and tighten it up. Uh, if I can't tighten it up, it, it will leak. So that's it's not a good scenario. I'll figure it out, but it, uh, you know it's just not I'm, I'm not comfortable with it myself. So anyhow, um, that's pretty much where we're at today. Um, I, 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 the, the chicks are doing good. Let's I take you over there and show you. Chicks are doing good. Everybody's chirping. Everybody's happy. Uh, didn't lose any more of the uh, my, my, my regular birds, but uh, to run outside real quick, let me grab my hat. It was, it was sprinkling. My rain hat. Or my jungle hat, one way or the other. I don't know which. But you can see, let me show you. Let me show you how much the this is melted. This is just it's just going away quickly. We we're losing uh, very rapidly losing the uh, the snowpack. Uh, the snowpack right here is, is gone. We've got a little sun trying to come through there. That'll be helpful. But look at the, <clears throat> the river is flowing hard. Uh, again, I can't control what I can't go through the, through the dam. So I can only take up 240 uh, cubic feet a second uh, through the penstock, through the, through the system. Everything else has got to go down the river. And at this time of the year, that's just what it does. It runs down the river. We still have the ice pack up to, up to the front, up to the at the at the lower falls here, uh, on the sides. Roosters might let you know that he is still here. But uh, see if I can get over this way, we can show you a little bit more on the. Uh, This is a little, going to be a little harder to get into. Get under the trees here. This snowpack is where I'm standing. It's probably uh, a good, a good two feet deep. Now we're getting out into the trees where we're down to six inches or so. I could move through this a little bit easier. Now you get a pretty good idea what the flow looks like and the 